I am here with another AFK money making method within RuneScape. This time, we're going to be working with the smithing skill. If you're excited for it, let's dive in. In this method, we're going to be smelting Ruin Outer Bars at any furnace within Gilinor. As for the requirements, they are super low. What you would need is 90 smithing, but I highly, highly recommend 94 for the 10% chance to double your bars. That is where the real money making is with this method. As for the recommendations, I recommend 91 prayer for super heat form. You get that curse from the light within quest, which is a very lengthy process, but definitely worth it if you're going to be using this AFK money making method. The next is smelting gauntlets. This is what makes us super AFKable. You get those by finishing the family crest and you select in the smelting gauntlets. Now you can always run back to the main character of the quest and you can always swap it for the other gauntlets that he does give out. Now, if you're looking for experience while doing this method, it's non-existent. You're only going to get 78,000 experience per hour while doing this AFK method. You're also going to be getting around 5.2 million GP per hour. That is with 94 smithing and the superheat form. Now, without those two things, you're probably going to be around the 4.9 million GP per hour just because your time is going to take longer and you're not going to have the chance to double your bars for your metal bank. Now, what you're going to have on you while doing this method is pretty simple as well. You're just going to have your smelting gauntlets and you're going to have either Grace of the Elves or Brush of the Gods, whatever you have, so you can also make some passive income with the items that the serene spirits give you or the brush of the gods so you can get more invention materials now there is skilling outfit pieces for smithing out there but it is not required for you to be able to make this an afk money making method now for my inventory i just have super prayer renewal potions in there and you'll see why when i explain how super heat form works while smithing so it's pretty key to have at least two of them for your hour worth of money making before we move any forward, I would like to say that not a lot of you guys are subscribed to the channel. So if you guys are enjoying what you are watching through all of my videos, make sure to hit that sub button. Let's get back to it. Now for the method itself, it's pretty simple. You're going to go find your favorite furnace. It could be either in Fort Ferenthry, or if you don't have Fort Ferenthry even made or constructed quite yet, you can always go back to Berthorpe and go straight to the furnace in the very beginning of the game. Now, if you are planning on using the Artisan Workshop, just remember that you do not gain any respect while smelting bars. Just an FYI, just in case you guys are planning on trying to gain respect while doing this money-making method. Now, once you find your favorite furnace, you will need light and dark animica ores along with ruin bars. Now, for the prices of all the slow buys, the dark animica ores, I was able to slow buy at 5,500, the light animica ores. Ores 5,602 and the Ruin Bars for 6,170 for a total of 48,361,600 GP. Now you can buy everything at the GE price if you really want to because the profits do come from the extra bars you do smelt while doing this method. However, gaining the most profit within an hour is the name of the game. So slow buying things could profit you a lot more as well. As for the Super Prayer Renewal Potions, you're looking at slow buying around 35,000. So about 70,000 for the both of them for the entire hour, which of course isn't going to cut into your profits too, too much. So as for the method itself, it's simple. You go to a furnace, you click on the Elder Ruin bars, and you just start smithing away. Now for the super heat form, it does take about one prayer for every tick within the game. So it's super important for the super prayer renewals to be used beforehand. So you don't run out of prayer while the form is active. And the next time you click to make some bars, it's now 102 seconds instead of 72 seconds of making an entire 60. Now for the super heat form, it does take one prayer for every tick that you use. So when you use the super prayer renewal potion, you will see that your prayer does go up over time instead of being depleted. If you do not want to use the super prayer renewal potions, you can go and get yourself an ancient elven ritual shard. It's dropped by lost grove creatures, or you can go to the GE and buy it. I believe it's around 11 million GP right now. The Ancient Elven Ritual Shard will sustain your prayer throughout this entire hour as long as you keep up with it every 5 minutes or so to gain your prayer back. 
Now, if you don't have the Smelty Gauntlets, this becomes less AFKable. Instead of the 72 seconds to 102 seconds, you're looking at about 27 seconds of creating older ruin bars. If you're not using them, the bars go straight into your inventory, and every time you click on the furnace, you then have to also click on the empty inventory icon every single time when you want to remake Elder Ruin bars. So if you want to make it fully AFKable up to 72 seconds, 102 seconds, depending on if you're using super heat form or not, get the smelting gauntlets. So you can just sit there and let it make 60 of them, and it goes straight to your metal bank. After doing this method for an hour and having 2800 dark anima cut or 2800 light anima cut or and 2800 ruin bars, we came out with 3207 elder ruin bars, which is thanks to level 94 smithen for the extra bar chance and the super heat form, which increased our time. And after selling them for 54,486,930, we made a profit of 6,125,330. That's also me being impatient and selling my Elder Ruin bars as quick as possible. And luck does play into effect here for how many times you get the double bar chance. So if you are lucky and you are patient, you can make your profit margin by a lot more than what I just did in this video for you guys. But that is the end of this video. If you guys found anything useful with this method, please hit that like button. Maybe even consider subscribing for future content for AFK money making and novice PVMing on bosses in RuneScape. But until next time, guys, I hope you stay safe. See you.